My name is Anu Laukkanen and I'm a postdoctoral uh, researcher from University of Turku. And uh, my background is in, uh, in uh, um, cultural studies and uh, gender studies and uh, dance research. But in this project, um, which uh, my working title is uh, Art for Equality in Public Welfare Services. And um, in this study, I will ask uh, how the questions concerning equality and difference are conceptualized and practiced in the encounters of art-based initiatives uh, and the social and health services. What kind of ideas and uh, embodied practices of equality and differences are shared or not shared in the work of an art and artist, art processes, uh, social and health professionals, and in the processes of care. How do these views affect each other? Uh, by analyzing the conceptual, embodied, and practical encounters, this research will provide tools for developing the cooperation of artists and social and health professionals into more inclusive and ethical mode. Following the strands of a new materialist uh, thought, this study focuses on the practices of art uh, which are circus and community arts, as spaces uh, exploring and inventing what different kind of bodies in these practices can do and become, and what different modes of or genres of art can become, and how art in welfare services affect the processes of art and vice versa. Firstly, three cases of art-based initiatives in three Finnish cities are studied ethnographically, which means uh, uh, interviewing the participants and uh, artists and the uh, professionals and uh, administrative people in the social and health care, and by uh, obser observing the, the processes of art. Uh, so a study... Um, these uh, cases to see what kind of understandings of equality and difference are available. My uh, art cases are uh, community, community art, uh, artists working at home in Kuopio, uh, baby circus in children's uh, welfare center in Rovaniemi, and a community art project for aging LGBTIQ people in Turku. In my research, I will focus on the relations between participants, artists, social and health professionals, and non-human actors. Secondly, the knowledge received from these initiatives is brought to the administrative level of social and health services, services uh, in three cities with the method of uh, research-based theatre workshops together with Dr. Anne Passila who has developed a reflexive model of research-based theatre for investigating and developing uh, practice-based organisational process innovations. These workshops are documented as a research material for the analysis of the discourses, embodied practices concerning equality and difference in social and health services. These views from the field of art and the administrative fields are analyzed together to explore the possibilities and hindrances for a success successful cooperation of artists and social and health organizations and professionals. Um, theoretically, uh, I position my research to the field of feminist and cultural studies and new materialist theories, which aim to dismantle the dichotomies such as nature, culture, discourse, materiality, and human and non-human actors. These theories focus on the level of ontology and being and on the relations of humans to other existing entities. These views are characterized by the examination of a diverse range of affective processes instead of an individual-centered approach. Uh, this research uh, uh, pays attention to the continuous and often imperceptible processes of differentiation and becoming. And these uh, processes uh, of becoming refer to the processes in which bodies relate to the forces of other bodies. And by uh, uh, 
with a lens uh, of looking at these uh, relations and becomings, the practices of art uh, can be seen to offer uh, potential uh, for new relations that increase the bodily forces and thus can be viewed as uh, emancipatory and empowering uh, actions. However, it's also important to pay attention to the moments where the relations do not increase bodily forces of the participants, but rather get stuck into the conventional and power-laden formations uh, for, of, uh, for example, discursive identities. Um, I see that uh, the discursive notions of social categories of differences and identities can be set in motion in art practices. Um, it can be see for, for example, uh, disability can be um, thought as a, a relation. It, it can relate to other things, to non-human uh, entities, and it can be see. It is a process of becoming rather than about being uh, disabled. And uh, in that way, we can also uh, challenge our ideas: what disability is, or what the different kind of art uh, genres are, they can, there is a potentiality for changing. And these views have a strong visionary future orientation, but they can also be used to examine the process, processes which are presently in progress. And in this research, the new materialist theories intrigue to ask, for example, how do encounters and relations between baby circus groups and child welfare clinics shape welfare services, for example? And what do these encounters enable? And what type of, uh, types of actors and agents uh, can be perceived in art projects if agency is thought to be also be related to actors other than humans? And further, how art practices and the as in blanches of different kinds of bodies affect welfare organizations of cities. Well, thank you. choose a refugee center, a center in which women who have suffered violence, um, since the ways in which these are constructed become powerful in terms of the theoretical and political agenda that you have. Mm. So you just say a few more things about the choices? Mm. Yes. Yes, I'm aware of uh, that, that um, the, these, uh, these art cases may have a, it's, uh, Maybe easier to see the pot potentiality of the kind of uh, visions of future in these kind of settings, and um, I think that's. Um, uh, I try to um, ar argue the the choice of the art cases well, by uh, going through the different kind of uh, uh, focusing on those settings also as. Uh, for example, gendered institutions like ch children's uh, welfare clinic. It's, uh, it's a uh, place where uh, uh, women, uh, 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 pregnant women go first and then they go there with their babies. And it's a very gendered environment. And uh, I try to point out these um, kind of the structural hierarchies that are there already in the institutions. But I, I'm aware that that's a very good question. Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you.